dick. Look at that. Thanks a lot for coming along with Life with Belsif. Let's see what's really going on. How you doing today? Welcome to Life with Belsif. I'm your host, freaking Belsif. Well, I got my tires in today, as you can see in the back seat. They're the old Toyo tires. I wish it would have went a little higher, but I think they're going to be all right. I'm going to have to bring the truck down a little lower. I got about five and a half inches of freaking sidewall. Should be mint, but you never freaking know. I'm just gonna head home here a little bit early and drop these tires off to have them mounted. That will be not too bad. I've got my little door things in today, but I'm pretty sure they're the wrong ones. Jump yep. right here. Pretty sure the threads are too small for my truck. They're little door poppers. Hey, huh? little door lifter bop bopper thing in jiggies. Anyways, these tires, I checked everywhere in Sarnia because I like to buy local if I can, but the only tires I found in Sarnia were friggin' Michelin Pilots, and they're just ugly looking tires. Huge. So I went online to Tire Direct, and boom, there we go. We had some tires, Toyos. The front one is about half an inch higher, but that's not too bad. We'll go with a half an inch higher gap. We had to go with a half an inch higher to get them to match, especially with the directional kind of friggin' tire, right? It looks pretty friggin' awesome. Wait till you see it. Yeah, I'd show you if I could, but I can't. Maybe I can. Let me see. You see that? Mm -hmm. Hey, pretty f***ing decent. It's got like Hey, I won't get any, uh, what do you call that? If I'm going down the road and it's raining out, hydroplane is. I just kick her right out of the way they go. Give me the old boot job. There we go, tires are dropped off. Now we're dropping the rims off. Captain, just killing it today. Well, we got the new tires mounted, as you can see. These are the back ones, 295, 45, 18s and like I said on the front I couldn't get the same height tire they're about an inch higher the problem I got into now is the front of the truck is way higher than the back of the truck because the tires that were on the truck the front tires were lower than the back tires which made the truck look normal now I got tires that are half an inch bigger on the front so now the truck is sits high in the front so guess what drop spindles frig just doesn't end this truck sitting too high now it looks like a four by four up there She's got to come down. Yeah. This ain't bad. I could still go down further, but that, we need three inches up here. I'm at 33, so I'll bring me down to 30. Two, three, down to 30, which will be perfect. Three inches. So that will give me, in the front, it will give me 30 inches, give or take. And at the back, I got 31. So it will actually sit perfect. The front will be just a tad lower, which I want. Not a lot. But it'll be a tad lower, and then I can put two inch, then I can put two inch coils in the front, get it down another five inches, and then I can go a three inch leaf in the back. And then she'll be on the ground, Captain. Friggin' right. But anyways, that's not bad. I went with the Toyo tires, so they look pretty damn good on there. I haven't been doing a lot of YouTubing lately. I'm taking a little bit of a, a break. I've been working on this a lot, and I'm doing buffing and interior work and stuff like that. Oh! I did use some pretty sick covering for the inside for you. Check this out, Jim. You're gonna like this. Aw, oh, dick. Look at that, boys. She's all fuzzy. Fuzzy, fuzzy, was a bear. Fuzzy, fuzzy, he has no hair. Fuzzy, fuzzy, wasn't really fuzzy, was he? So anyways, what do you leave your comments down below tell me what you think of that. It feels nice, and it looks nice, and I think, it, uh, I think it's pretty freaking decent. Let me know if I should do it up there. Let me put this stuff on the headliner. That would be pretty sick. I think. Leave me a comment down below and let me know. Still waiting for an RCA cord to run through here to hook up the amplifier. And then I can put the carpet in. Okay? Still waiting for dye so I can dye the door panels. So we're still waiting for that. But other than that, we're getting there. Pretty good. Hold on a second here. But yeah, there you go. So like I said, leave me a comment down below if you think I should do the headliner the same. I think I should because I want to take this light out anyways. That light's got to go. I got these lights now. But this stuff is pretty freaking decent. I like it. A lot. It turned out good. And it's solid. I got a rattle up there. Listen. Gonna have to find that rattle. It's not even coming from the back. It's coming from the front. Why wouldn't it? Might need a staple down there. But yeah. That's ah, freaking decent. Count. Here, let me give you the... Friggin' right, eh? But anyways, hopefully uh, everybody's having a good day. I am using a GoPro Hero 7 right now. I downgraded on the, the old GoPro 7 here because that's what I had going already. So I figured I might as well, uh, you know, do this, not the other thing. I bought myself my own buffer. I got a buffer now. Got it off of Marketplace. Good old face crack. 
still waiting for tailgate. I think he's almost done. About the bumper. Look at the bumper. Oh, got a new brake light. Hey, remember it was broke down here? Yep, new Cadillac brake light in there. This is a Cadillac edition. That's sort of the trunk lid of a Cadillac. Nothing like Cadillac, eh? Freaking right. But like I said, bear with me. Much, much, much more to come. Like I said, I'm taking a break. I'm doing a lot of buffing, a lot of interior work, a lot of boring stuff for you. You won't want to watch all that stuff. Let me tell you what. But I love you all. I'm glad you're all still sticking around. If you're a new subscriber, thanks for subscribing. If you're not a subscriber, better subscribe. Why wouldn't you? Love you all. Tell me what you're up to. And until next time, you know what to do for now.